everybody, wait, the season premieres January 8th, 18th? Wait, this match camp? Hello? Wait, all stars? Huh, what? I, I thought this was an ad for season four, but I think this is in universe now. I'm already speculating. Hey, everybody, and welcome to the last episode of Tom Jake. I am very late on this one, but you can call me Billy. Now, the reason I am late is because I was on a holiday trip, which was very, very lovely indeed. And now that I am back, I am here to fix things because we need to watch one more episode of Tom Jake. So far, I've managed to stay spoiler free, which is actually really great because I'm curious to see where the show goes. Both from uh, I'm excited for this as well as I'm, I'm curious what they're going to do with this. Like so far, the first three episodes have not really had a cohesive narrative yet. And I'm curious if this episode is going to introduce one at the last second. Like we've had Sean. Is, is the brother of Jake, right? We've had him come in, and I'm expecting a lot from him this episode around. But I don't know how well this is going to wrap up a story, and I don't know if it needs to necessarily, because there wasn't a payoff that needs to happen still. I think it's just going to give those characters a happy ending. And I'm kind of excited to see where this is going. So, I am very tired. I uh, arrived back at home at 3.30am uh, yesterday, and I've had a full day's work <laughs> since then. So let's keep that as a trend for this venture cam, Tom Jake. It's just me watching every single episode dead tired. <laughs> oh boy. Anyway, let's start in three, two, one. Bam, here we go. So I think this is an ad in universe, right? Is everything ready, Emily? Hello. Oh yeah. Gather the crew. It's time. Wait. What? Oh, hell yeah. I was going to say, what am I watching? <laughs> oh. Um. Reed, I, uh, I was, uh, I was looking for the remote to turn that trash off, I swear. <laughs> yeah, yeah, um, you sound like me. <laughs> uh, well, how dare you? <laughs> Wait, though, I, where's your uniform? What's going on? Oh, oh, uh, so, the thing about that... Did you get fired? Oh, uh, no, 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 no! Yeah, yeah, uh, afraid so, I... I came in to turn in my badge. Oh. oh no. Okay. Reed. Oh, you can't leave me alone. Come on, with Gretzky? Oh, all that man does is complain about the CRA. Ugh. You'll live. You got this. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Maybe. The investigation, though, I mean, it's been going great. Johnson lost his job, and... I don't give a crap about that scumbag. <sighs> Then why, Reed? Uh, I, I guess I thought about it, and the police force isn't what I thought it was going to be. I, I joined because it seemed like a great opportunity, but I, I just can't stand by it. You know, it, it's time I carved my own path. Wait, but okay, cool. Uh, good for you. Why was this not his own path? No, wait, wasn't his father also an officer? Too. Yeah. Oh, oh, Officer Cheeks! Of course! How could I possibly forget? I get you. I... I get it. Oh, I've been wondering about that myself for a while. You're gonna Seeing quit you too? get hurt like that. Oh. oh. No. <laughs> you care. Yes, Tom, because you were one of the most compassionate officers this damn station has ever had. <laughs> That's a fun delivery. You are so gosh darn compassionate! I adore you! Now sit down and eat a donut! <laughs> Whoa. Well, whatever. Uh, have a great life, I guess. Hey. It's not like you can't see each other outside of the work. We would stop being friends. Yeah. Mm, no. <laughs> but I was hoping. Oh, ha ha. <laughs> <laughs> ah. So what is Jace gonna do? Uh, Jace. Uh, I mean Tom. Totally didn't just, uh, blank when I saw his name <laughs> there. What is Tom? Okay, wait, I'm gonna- wait, I can't talk with- no phone. Ah, oh, darn it, you did it. Well, fine, that was the last one of them. I swear if there's one in this Venture Camp Season 4 intro, I'm going to skip every single one of them. Like, not even joking. I'll do the first one, as a joke, to show you I'm not watching it anymore. And then I'll never include it again. Uh, anyway, what is Tom gonna do now? Huh? What's his new job gonna be? What's a little, a little jobby job gonna be? Because Jake, I believe, was unemployed for like two years straight. 
Uh, so I'm gonna do the same thing. These guys need to eat, or do they just have stacks of money? I mean, Jake has three million laying around. Oh, oh no! Oh, silly me! I forgot. <laughs> Rhea won the season. <laughs> oh, how could I forget? Oh, seventy-six. Is that the amount of crimes that Rhea committed? I want to make sure we have good coverage. Don't tell me what to do, dickhead. Uh, okay. Oh, shut up, stockings. Stockings? Oh, <laughs> I, I thought he said stockings like she is stalking somebody, but he meant the, the socks. <laughs> okay. Jake, uh, what's this? A pain yada. Uh, <laughs> you said the magic word. Uh, I love piñata. Wait. <laughs> Okay, uh, might turn this into the thumbnail somehow. Don't know for sure how yet, but I will. Anyway, um, I find this concerning. Isn't Gabby like the animal lover? Why does she like to smack a miniature version of a horse? <laughs> no, she just has a good way to distinguish which is which. I mean, good for her. But I would have imagined Gabby to be like, No, don't hurt the paper animal, too. <laughs> nice. Looks great, Jake. Thanks. Say, any news on your portfolio? It's Miriam's birthday. Focus on ah. that. No, I want to know. Well, don't you dare make your Miriam die in this one. See, there was nothing to worry about. So, when I'm rich and famous, I guess I'll give you a small thanks in my autobiography. Oh, how sweet. Uh. In the footnotes. Ding dong! Oh, Ashley? Ashley. Hello! What are you doing here? Did you fly over from Australia? Oh, it's damn chilly up in these parts. Hope I could fit into one of your coats. She was from Australia, right? <laughs> so glad you could make it. Wouldn't miss it. NASA will I mean, watch the- Ashley, you're talking about how chilly it is, yet you wear almost zero clothing items. Like, at least untie the knot around your belly top thing. And you know, you are wearing a teeny tiny shorts. Like, Wear whatever you want, but don't complain about the weather if you're going to wear nothing but teeny tiny shirts. You know, you could wear pants. You could wear, I don't know, three pants over top of one another. <laughs> okay. Farm while I'm gone. More fun characters? Oh, more fun characters. Hello. Too. Are you kidding? Get over here, you rascal. You rascal. Oh. Ah. <laughs> uh... Aw, no James? He is busy being a famous actor. Is he? The day's off, sadly. He sends his regards. Eh, happy for him. Hey, Lake. Hi, Jake. Thank you for the invite. I hope you don't mind. I brought a plus one. Uh oh. This is Mariana. Oh. Hello, everyone. Mucho gusto. Welcome to the family. Oh. Cute. Okay. Well, good for you, Lake. I'm curious if we're gonna know about that God, character. I feel like I'm gonna vomit. Oh. <laughs> Stop eating donuts. Does he suspect anything? Ah, oh, don't worry. He's distracted by the party guests. Good. Good. So, tell me, what's the surprise? <laughs> well... The surprise is that Miriam died. Surprise! Oh no. Oh. Uh, oh. hey, bro. Hello. Thanks, uh, for showing up. Yeah, yeah, uh, of course. <laughs> Hi, Alec. <laughs> uh, I'm working on a cake, so I can introduce you to everyone after I'm done. Ah, uh, cool. They're a little awkward around each other. Did something happen? Did you think about what I said? Uh-huh. Any thoughts? I don't know, Sean. I'm trying to focus. Okay. Then why did you invite me at all? I didn't. Tom did. Oh. Are you mad that he did? Not at all. Wait, Sean's... Sh shut up. Sh Sean's ha natural hair color is blue too? It's interesting. It's a weird little genetic quirk. Okay, Sean, pop off, King. Then what's your problem, man? Oh, oh no, the cake! Okay, Sean, don't pop off like that. Damn it! Oh, chill out. We can fix it. Don't touch it. I just want to help. Did something change with the animation? Great to hear a long time ago. Jake, please. I'm not just going to be able to forgive you overnight. It's a uh, little... Of course. Wait, sorry. I just... Stop. 
Can I please just press a pause button whenever I want it to pause? Sorry for interrupting you guys. Um, is something new about the animation? It feels jumpier. I'm not sure I'm a big fan yet. I need to get adjusted to this a little bit. It's a little too, too, too snappy for me. A little bit too, too energetic. Like I'm watching three different TikToks at the same time, you know? Don't watch TikTok, guys. Don't let your brain rot. Don't do it. Don't fall into that pitfall or you will never crawl out again. Says the guy who watches YouTube shorts. I know, I'm, I'm bad. Anyway, um... Yeah, new animation, I believe. Uh, it, it looks, it looks nice. I'm not sure I prefer it over the old art style, but it looks good. Just, just what? I really do love you, man. I want to make things right. What did you do? Ugh, I'm still convinced you're just being mom and dad's spy. Oh. Even if I wanted to be, I couldn't. Uh, what do you mean? I moved out. Oh. And blocked their numbers. Wait, for real? Yeah. So what happened between these two guys? Because Jake has mentioned the brother a couple of times during the show, right? And in those moments, I felt like he was the the normal one of the family to talk to. So what happened between these guys? Is there something that happened after All Stars or in between season one and three that we don't know about? Or am I missing something? Again, I'm tired. <laughs> piggy piggy back, won't you take me? Piggy back, won't you? Piggy piggy back, won't you take my piggy back? Won't you? Piggy me back. I never get sick of that song. No, me neither. Good. <laughs> Are we almost there? Mhm. Mm Just a couple more exits. <laughs> Are you doing better, Bestie? I think so. Wait. Magic. So did they? Okay, no, we need to dive into the legit- Wait, we're gonna put Happy Tom and Gabby back on for a second. Look at them being happy. I'm going to completely break this scene for you. So, when we did this Ranger Camp All-Stars, um, the characters, the contestants, were forced to write a new song. And now, we see these characters singing a radio version. So that would mean, at the very least, either a, the team, which team was it? Cyan, I believe? The Cyan team did not in fact write their own music, but did instead copy an existing song. I know they did this without the show, guys. I, I'm making a joke here. Or, which is also still a possibility, the people outside of the show liked it so much that they covered it into a new song, which is now playing on the radio, and Tom and Gabby and Ellie and Aiden and James and... No, not James, he was already dead. Uh, Tess, those characters... Lake, too? No, Lake was not on that team. Those characters are all now super famous for this song. Except, no, that's not possible. Because at the beginning of this episode, we saw that All Stars was not airing yet. So that means... These guys are copycats. They're fakers. They should have absolutely lost that challenge because they did not write their own song. Exposed. Exposed. Nah, they were never gonna win anyway. It was always gonna be Rhea. Piggy me back. Jake helped me find a therapist I actually like. Oh. It's been going well so far, at least. Yay! And you always have us to help you heal. Gabby's so it's cute. Gabby's such, such a good character, man. I love Gabby! <laughs> Aww. Ah! the road. Yeah. I mean, you distract her. Was that Officer Cheeks? What? Where are you going? Oh. Can you believe some people walk on the sidewalk? Gabby, the road, please. So, why did you agree to meet up? <laughs> the little Miriam figure is so good. I remembered. What? That you were a total dipshit? No, I. Overrun by guilt. Needed to clear your conscience? What happened? No. I remembered that time Dad and I got in that really awful fight when I was- uh, I'm related. Sorry. <laughs> I keep pausing Sean in the middle of what he's saying. Sorry, it's nothing personal. Uh, but what I was gonna ask is why do you have the little neck thing? Do you have a scar? Or is it an animation thing where it's just uh, the way your neck renders? <laughs> Either way, uh, she maybe get a little bit of makeup on that. I was 17. Okay, and? I almost ran away. Packed up my car. Mom and Dad didn't even protest. But then oh, you came oof. outside with your suitcase. Right. We never got along. And yet, there you were. And you said it was Wait, they didn't? I didn't deserve to be alone. Yeah, I... I remember. 
You always had the biggest heart. And I fucked all that up because of some silly prejudices. I don't- Oh, okay. Living in that house was like being brainwashed. <laughs> yeah. But look at you now. Grandma would be so proud. Thanks, Sean. You know, this party looks incredible, Jake. What if you did something like this as a job? Oh. What? Event coordinator or something. Huh. You know, I never Party considered planner. that. <laughs> or even like a wedding planner. Oh. Maybe you're onto something. Jake's big gay wedding service. Okay, don't push it. <laughs> sorry. Uh, sorry. Uh -oh. Anyways, I shouldn't keep you from your party. Just... I actually... The pause button again did not work, and now I am interrupting Sean again mid-sentence. I had a perfect break in there. Anyway, I do really like the way that they are formatting this argument, because I have met people, especially as me being a teacher. Hi, teacher here. Uh, you, you guys may keep forgetting this or may not know about this if you are new to the channel, but I do in fact teach the kids. And I know from experience that a couple of kids are like, I don't want to say homophobic, but like extremely conservative. Uh, that's a good way of saying it. They have conservative beliefs about what they think should be right. And within that, absolutely fall homophobic thoughts and ideas. Like, uh, a couple of the kids that uh, don't appreciate uh, Pride Month, for example, which I've always find insulting, and I try to have an open discussion about them with it, but it's also kind of like seen as not cool yet, and there are a couple of kids, and I mean, me just force-feeding them that message is going to only sour things more. I don't know if I'm wording this the way that I want it to sound, but what I kind of mean is like, uh, a lot of the kids think that they are very open and inclusive while well, really they're not um with the the pride month thing as an example like the the main argument you'll hear is like i don't mind that they're gay they just don't need to flaunt it in my face and i think that's still kind of insulting because you shouldn't have to hide that isn't that the entire point but then again if i as the teacher i'm going to be like no you should accept people for who they are and you should deal with it then they're just gonna do it less because they're <laughs> not always in the mood to listen to the teach, you know? So I try to have an open discussion about it so that they can explore for themselves and discover for themselves that it, you should just be tolerable and that if you are not celebrating Pride Month, nothing is lost if people are celebrating Pride Month, you know? Uh, if you're not celebrating Christmas either, uh, nothing is lost if others are celebrating Christmas. So and <laughs> I see this as a similar thing, like, don't need to celebrate Pride Month in order to be acceptant of the fact that people want to celebrate who they are as a person. What? Why was I rambling about this? Oh yeah, so I really like this idea of like Sean uh, having said nasty things and not being acceptant of Jake because of his parents. Because I, the uh, a couple of the kids I know who have it the worst come from parents who are even worse. And so I think it's really hard to go against what your parents are saying in that sense. Well, like what your parents are teaching you at a certain age is just seen as gospel. It's like the truth, you know? And it takes a little while to understand that your parents are wrong about things and that they have opinions that do not match reality. And I like that this dynamic explores that. Like Jake and Sean, uh, as far as I'm getting it right now, have a bad relationship because one of them at an early age discovered that they do not fit the conservative thoughts that prevail in the household of Jake. And the other one was unable to escape those thoughts because he has been taught all his life that being gay is wrong. So I really like this dynamic and I really like how Sean is trying to make up with this. I, I don't know how much he did try to make up with this, but I get this, this bond. It's very complicated in uh, the way it's formatted. I like it a lot. Let me know if you want to talk more. Wait, Sean, why don't you stay? You sure? <laughs> yeah. You sure? <laughs> cool, nice. Wait, where are the tempest call? What are we uh, doing here? Be careful, here? Tom. The security guard will be back any minute. Don't worry, Caps, I got this. I am sneak. Huh, are you? Oh, bestie, I just... Oh. Aw, so cute. <laughs> Oops, I just heard a door. Shit, Tom! 
Oh no, it's Jensen. The cabin. I didn't see. Huh. Oh. <laughs> the legs. Oh my god, it's Jensen. Oh, it's the guy that almost Let killed. No. <laughs> Well, shut up, for example. <laughs> it's a close cabin. The guy's already on the look. He's gonna hear you if you don't watch his whimper. Don't go, hey, psst, Gabby. I know this guy can't hear me right now. Boy, should I do? I'm coming. Okay, Gabby. Just think of a clever distraction. Do some Cambodian ninja moves. Here? Yeah. <laughs> he, he, there clearly is. This guy has an ear problem. I'm clever distraction. <laughs> <laughs> hey! No one's allowed on these premises! Don't you recognize her? Wait, didn't Crystal also burn these cabins? Uh, should this be here? What? Bad trouble! <laughs> uh, 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 sorry. Whoever you are, wait a minute. Are you hit famous contestant Gabby from the hit show Disventure Camp? Robbed Queen Gabby that should have definitely won All Stars, if not season one, if not both. Stop! We have to go! Just kick it. Take the entire cabin. Oh. Well, that worked. Oh! That works! <laughs> I was joking when I said take the entire cabin, but sure. Let's go! Stop right there! Oh, God! He's got a gun! Please, please, don't do it! Wait, is that a squirt gun? Uh, oh, bunch of cuts! Sir, uh, please let us go! This is for love! Love? Well? Why didn't you just say so? Uh, huh. Hop in! <laughs> okay, sure. I have a car already? Dang it! <laughs> <sighs> I always wanted to do that. Yeah, uh, sorry. Okay, I don't know who wrote that scene, but please do more in season four because that was funny. <laughs> I love that. Love? Well, why didn't you say so? Hop in! Ah. Uh, well, he gets to join in for love. <laughs> oh my god, they're all taking selfies. Oh god, the brain rot is set in. Oh god, them too. They're trapped in phones, literally. See, the only guy living is actually alive. Ignore the four people that are about to get in state. Wait, you know what? Let's ignore them. Let's let's pretend we never saw them. Let's. Here, the only one actually enjoy. No, wait, I can still see Lake. Oh no, now I can see. Wait, I just need to crop it. Okay, editing magic. Poof. The only guy actually living his life to the fullest, just enjoying his cake as the short king he is. You pop off, Park Ranger. You pop off. Miss Reed, it's a pleasure. Aw, oh, Aiden. Between us, you are my all-time favorite Disventure Camp contestant. <laughs> After me, of course. Uh, I never said that. Oh, yikes. Tom, you never said your mom was so much cooler than you. Believe yeah. me, hun, I tried to teach him. Alas. Why is everyone against me? <laughs> hmm, what is it you do for work? Whoa. Oh. oh no, the pot. No, save it. Oh, cough, mom. Cool. Show off. <laughs> I'm um a circus performer. <laughs> uh, let's eat. Sounds curious. Hold on. Now I wish we got four episodes of Tom Jake with just the mom being a super spy. <laughs> I like how this park ranger is going to be at the big surprise for Miriam and she's going to be like, Who are you and why are you in my house? <laughs> it's going to be one of the first people she sees next to the girlfriend of Lake who she also doesn't know. <laughs> That's fun. <laughs> oh, it's Connor. Hey, Connor. Uh, why is... Are you sure this is the guy that actually wanted to be a spy? Are we sure about this guy? Surprise! <laughs> Christmas in July. Oh, oh my heart. Oh. Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> 
<laughs> gotcha. Uh, they were never gonna do that. Again. How dare you taunt Ellie about that? That's so mean. She lost a million dollars because of that little trick of yours. You evil little woman. You are so vile sometimes. I do love you, though. You're a queen. Happy birthday, Miri. Happy birthday, indeed. Millionaire in the world. <laughs> Just rub it in. Let's dig in. I'm starving. I mean, you guys are clearly not as clever as the... Uh, the park ranger guy who was already eating the cake was living his best life. The woman who proved you only get better with age. <laughs> Amen. Hear, hear. Thank you all. From the bottom of this old lady's heart. Looking around, I see family, warmth, people that give me a reason to wake up every day. <laughs> and the park ranger. <laughs> I never thought I would have that feeling again, but... Here we are. Thank you. Wait, did did Lucia just drink before toasting? That is against the manners. Oh, huh. right. humbug, Let's I say. Back to my hotel. Get some shut out, you two. I expect you to show me around the city first thing in the morning. <laughs> you bet. Bye. Bye. I should go too. Hey, Jake, we still good for that movie sometime? Yeah, and... Thanks for letting me take my time. Of course, man. Yep. And thank you, Tom. I couldn't imagine a better man to be my brother's other half. Oh, come here. Oh. By the way, if you ever hurt Jake again, spy training taught me how to kill a man 20 different ways with just my bare hands. Is, is Tom just threatening a guy now? Uh, okay. Sure, Tom. Just remember that. Oh my god. Uh, noted. Good night. And? Uh, oh yeah. Oh no! Damn it, Gabs! Why did I leave it on the fucking counter? Hey, language! Moron! Uh, what is it, babe? I, I went out of my way to get... Uh, is that... The heart you carved? From Tipiska? Yeah. Yeah, and it's it's ruined. It was supposed to be your Christmas present. I'm so sorry, Jake. Is it Christmas? I love it. That's so thoughtful. But it's not the gift, it's the gesture. Rip. No, you're right. Besides, I have something else in mind. Oh. Uh, present. Um. Uh, what? No. no, I'm not following. But guys, no, no, oh. no, no, no! I don't, I don't need to. No! <laughs> <laughs> ah! Oh no! Don't do that again! No! <laughs> okay. Wait, he's already started the business within six weeks, and he has a big billboard too. Okay, sure thing. <laughs> That's quick. Did he already have this business plan? That's not how quickly businesses go. Oh god, Gabby, what are you doing? Wait. Tom became a beach boy. So he can run around shirtless all day. Making every single to uh, Disventure Camp fan happy. Aww. To growing old, cause I'll be old with you. Oh, I'll be old. Oh, it's the cheesecake! I think. Is it? That would be nice. Is that actually the cheesecake? It is, isn't it? Are you tracking me out to the woods? If you're gonna kill me, at least make it. Wait, how close by is Tipiskal? Uh, babe, we're almost there. And I'll await the time Wait a minute! Does that reveal that Tipiska is actually in Canada all this time? I thought it wasn't. <laughs> I thought specifically it was not. Uh, but these guys are in Canada, right? I remember being confused about that the last episode. And the fact that they are able to drive back and forth to Tipiska, not once, but twice. And also within the span of Miriam reaching home. I feel like Tipiska is 
fairly close by. <laughs> this was such a convenience for them. Look you in the eyes Wait, they didn't need to get picked up by a plane even. Oh. Oh, it's a watermelons. Oh, my God, is is this where you kissed me the first time? Ah. Uh. How? When? Gabby helped me while you were at that wedding for the weekend. It's perfect. Uh. Oh, oh God, not again. Oh, never mind. Man, you can almost hear the love in the air. Uh -huh. Almost. I said you could <laughs> almost hear the love in the air. <laughs> Thanks, Gabby. Uh, I got you a little something, too. More donuts. Jake. After it broke, ah. I eventually realized it gave it even more meaning. Just like us. Despite everything, we weathered the storm. It, it scars, both inside and out, make it even more beautiful. Ah, you cute. I'm just glad we had time to get away. You busy guy. Yeah, the business is taking off. It's honestly humbling. Yeah, in six weeks is <laughs> impressive. Well, I was thinking maybe the next wedding I planned was ours. <gasps> oh! Uh <-huh>. What? <laughs> Wait a second. <laughs> Roger open to the idea. Oh. So how quickly can Jake get a business off the ground? Because that is impressive. <laughs> okay, that was a, a lovely little send-off to these characters. Far more lovely than what All-Stars gave them! <laughs> We're not thinking about All-Stars. You know what was really the best part in all of this? No, Rhea. Not a single mention of her, except for my doing. Really cute story. And I like that this was more of a slice of life story. It didn't really have a major plotline, but it didn't need to. And I like that for staff stories as well. I've seen people dislike staff stories. I, I want to talk about staff stories a little, 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 little bit. Because I thought staff stories was really cute. And uh, this too. This surprised me a whole lot. I did not super vibe with this show going in. Uh, I'm not the biggest fan of Tom. Certainly not a big fan of Jake, uh, but the show was really cute and I liked it. It was very wholesome to watch and I'm happy to know that this is the ending that these characters are most likely going to get forever and ever and ever. <laughs> That's really dramatic. <laughs> but like, I was salty. Like, I really wanted Jake to win All-Stars just because I didn't want Rhea to win, but like, he was a bad way to uh, win too. But this is a cute ending. Like, All-Stars Jake was not... I uh, did not vibe with All-Stars Jake. And I really vibed with Tom Jake Jake. <laughs> Tom Jake Jake, yes. But also with Tom Tom Jake. <laughs> with Tom Jake Tom Jake. Is this still making sense? Am I just really tired? Like, in this show especially, uh, there's plot points being set up. But because it is presented as such a slice of life, it doesn't really feel rushed. The only episode I would say was actually kind of rushed was episode three, because it tried to do too many plot points, so to say, at the same time. Uh, but with episode four, like, uh, Sean comes into the picture, we get introduced to what their trouble is, and then really we don't see them working out, but we see them make a first step. And because that is the ending of their journey, we know, like, this, is, this will probably go fine if it takes a couple more months to years to fully meant but like there's there's now an approach to both of them wanting to grow together and we don't need to see the end of that we don't need this conclusion yet but we because because we can fill in the blanks after this point you know which i think is is nice i, I feel that's the case for a lot of the storylines here overall really happy with tom jake as a show Really cute. Speaking of really cute, it is a new month, and that means shout outs for every single Silly Billy member. So I would like to thank Media Films, Joey Pals, Stars Timpen, Jessa, Benazir, Gabby, Vanessa Venger, Caramel, 
No, I got old like Miriam for real. <laughs> it's always a challenge to read this name out loud before I fully open it. Trap, Lily Rose 55, Mr. Hongo, Justice Cheese Place, Puppy Chan, Jacqueline Farrell, Skull 866. I love Gabs and, and Trevor. Trevor? Yeah, and Trevor. Ethan Rivers, Strago Nuggets, Aiden Pinter, Jacobo Stars, Creeper XOX, Arcadia, Salvatera, Del Vecchio, Daymania DJ, Tornado Chris 07, Vix, Caden Loves Lang Langax? Yes, Langax indeed. Ali was robbed and should have won the season. Nathaniel B72, Chill Chuck and Hunter's husband Tyler. The name is Tubby, Jello, Just Dex, Forest Finders, No Name, Rift, Neil Sunemiku, and Javi Kuba. Thank you so much for your continuous support on the Syllabilly channel. It really helps out a lot, and I appreciate you very, 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 very much. That was it. Now we go on to this Venture Camp Season 4. I'm still working on the review for All Stars. He's a big one. I have written so many pages of script by this point. The Snivy, the editor, she's working real hard behind the scenes to make this possible. I am working also really, really hard to make this work. And you're just gonna have to wait. I ref I feel like the review is going to just appear in the middle of season four. And you're gonna be happy with it. You're gonna eat it up like the little munchkin you are. If you want to stay up to date for that, please consider liking the video, subscribing to the channel, hitting the little bell icon even, then you don't miss any single videos that I make. For now, though, I want to thank you for watching. This has been Silly Billy. And remember, Tom and Jake got a happy ever after. Aww. Also, Jake is an adventure capitalist at his finest. How do?